Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's June 23rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for taking some time at the end of the week. Thanks, Mike. So a relatively quiet week in Muni's. Uh, some outperformance in the tax-exempt market versus treasuries. What did you see? Yeah, so as you mentioned, there was an outperformance this week with yields being bumped by two basis points across the curve. Uh, this week, for the first time in, the, in several, we saw inflows coming into mutual funds, and we also saw some heavy June reinvestment, which helped the market digest the supply this week. So this week's calendar was six and a half billion, uh, which is relatively modest compared to historical levels. Uh, but that the market digested that supply pretty easily with the, with those two um, aspects of the incoming cash. And the technicals uh, really are the story of munis right now. Uh, even looking forward, I've noticed in the bond buyer this morning, 30 day visible supply looking forward is only $9.3 billion. That's you know mostly going to come next week. But uh, uh, after that, you have the holiday week, 4th of July. So the, the supply side looks still pretty modest. Uh, anything else you're seeing uh, on the market before we uh, start talking about the new issues? Yeah. So, I mean, with that inflow of supply, the secondary market offerings and trading have been pretty low with some spots of the curve being down by as much as 30%. Uh, so there's not as many bonds out there to sell. Everybody's really focused on reinvesting that cash and was really focused on the primary market this week. And we're expecting to see that going forward. And I think that it does uh, suggest there's a lot of retail activity, obviously, both in the reinvestment of cash, but also, as you mentioned, uh, mutual fund flows turned positive. Uh, Lipper reported about $630 million of uh, inflows to weekly reporting mutual funds. That's the second uh, inflows in three weeks. Uh, so possibly a, a sea change coming there. Right. So turning over to the new issue market, you mentioned the total supply this week was relatively modest at under $7 billion, but the BAM insured calendar is pretty active. What did you see? Yeah, BAM had a, a solid week. We had roughly $300 million of insured par price. Uh, Wells Fargo priced a $150 million University of Nevada Reno transaction. That was across two series. Uh, we had some positive feedback from the underwriter on uh, the on the deal and how that priced. Uh, there was also a $68 million deal with uh, Piper Sandler with uh, Rialto USD in California. And looking ahead to next week, uh, an even heavier calendar, uh, over $7 billion, between 7 and $8 billion uh, scheduled to price market wide. But how is uh, the BAM calendar look? Right. So there's two uh, notable transactions for next week that we'd like to highlight. So the first one is a $300 million Springdale, Arkansas deal, and that will be priced by Cruz and Associates. And there's also a $102 million Brunswick CSD transaction in, in Ohio, and that'll be priced by RBC. Very good. So yeah, we'll watch how those perform. We'll probably take uh, next week off for the 4th of July holiday. We'll come back uh, in July and uh, take a look at how the summer's shaping up. Sounds good. Have a great weekend. You too, Mike.